I think some people on YouTube may know how I feel about Skillet, especially if you've seen my Rate Your Music, cause wow. Skillet just came out with a new single, and I'll be talking about it because, I don't know, I just... I do not consider myself a fan of the band, so that's just kind of a disclaimer. This song is called Legendary, off of their upcoming album Victorious. This lead-off single, I guess, disappointed some fans because Skillet told people that it was going to be like comatose or that the singles were going to have a comatose vibe to them, which, I mean, they always say that and it's never like that, so I don't understand why people are even surprised. I guess with this song, yes, it's a lot of Unleashed, it's a lot of the same, a lot of the same kind of pump up song, and, and the first song I thought of when I heard this was Feel Invincible. I mean, I honestly wonder when the band is going to run out of words like this. This song's kind of like, oh, be legendary in your life, because you only have a short time to live on Earth and just be legendary. Anyway, I am going on a huge tangent. The song, the song, the song, the song. I've heard it a few times, four times I want to say, and um, each time my opinion has changed slightly. Basically, the song starts off with something I genuinely like. It starts out with this very mellow synth lead going on. It actually reminds me of Demon Hunter, like new school Demon Hunter. The way the rhythm works together with the guitar and the synth is actually really cool. That's something I didn't really pick up on until I listened with better headphones, so I have to give them props for that. It's like you finally kind of get the groove of it and it wasn't what you originally thought the groove was, you know what I mean? The other positive thing I want to mention is actually John's range in this song, because John Cooper's voice is a very acquired taste. His voice actually serves these kinds of songs really well, which is probably why Skillet does them a lot. So in this song exactly, this is B minor, so it uh, makes sense that the extremes of his range would be the note B. Uh, so the lowest note he ends up singing is the to the top, to the top, which he does that in octave lower, but I can't sing that. So that's B2, then he goes legendary, and that's B4, so that's two octaves, so that's actually not bad for a song like this. It's got some range to it, and his voice sounds good in the more mellow moments. I do feel like he was a little bit overproduced, but it's definitely not as bad as on the majority of the songs on Unleashed. I will say that Jen's voice is still incredibly robotic, and she has sounded like that for pretty much the whole time she's been in the band. I don't know what it is with Jen's voice, they just want to mess with it and really make her sound not human. She probably didn't need to be in this song much, I kind of felt like that with Feel Invincible as well, where she just plays such a small role, it's like, technically John could have done the whole thing, but I understand the John and Jen kind of dynamic, you know, is what everybody's used to, so they just do songs like that. But again, I'm not complaining, I don't feel like Jen's presence here is a bad thing, I just feel like what they do with her voice is a little bit distracting. The guitar work is actually not terrible, the main riff is pretty much just the three chords over and over, but I do feel like the song has a little bit of bite to it with the kind of stomping rhythm going. I guess I haven't really gotten into the lyrics. I don't really remember most of them. The only one I really remember is Ain't Never Gonna Stop, which uh, my friend Patty reviewed this. What I'm gonna say is exactly what he said because it's something I didn't really notice until he pointed it out, but Ain't Never Gonna Stop is bad grammar because it's a double negative and it's kind of awkward, you know? Um, so I remember that line because I remember that review, you know, talking about that line. So I remember that line in the song, uh, never gonna keep me down, something, something, something. It's just kind of a bunch of lines about like, I'm gonna rise above this unknown thing that I'm not gonna tell anybody about because there's no thing because this is our gimmick. They've got their audience and they know what they're doing. Skillet is very self-aware in this field, and it's like, they know how to market themselves, they know how to appeal to Christian radio and mainstream rock radio, and like, they've got it made. They know what they're doing, and they know how to do it effectively. So like, from a business standpoint, yeah, Skillet is very proficient. This is completely unscripted, by the way, which I almost never do that anymore. I almost always script my videos, but this one, I was like, this is just one song I can talk about it without a script. And then that moment at the end of the course, there's a huge pause between Legendaire and Re. So you just have this Legendaire Re. And it's just like, what? is happening. I don't know, that just really stuck out to me like a sore thumb. I don't hate this, but of course I don't really think it's average either. I think it's just kind of the same old, same old. That's the thing is it's like Unleashed was not that terrible, even though I gave it a very low score on like right here. I gave it like a three out of, I had given it a two out of 10, upgraded it to a three out of 10, because I'm like, you know what? It's not awful at all, not even close. 
but I guess I just have a little bit of frustration towards the band because I used to love them so much and then they soured so much on me and then I was just like mad so I gave it a 2 out of 10 but it doesn't deserve it. It's, it deserves more of a 4 out of 10, not gonna lie. And this is a lot of Unleashed rehashed again, a lot of the same ideas. And I guess, like, I should be more constructive in this review to close it out. So, my big issues were just kind of the recycling of material, same old theme, same old lyrics. There's that aspect. I feel like they could write more about actual things. I don't understand why they don't write more songs like Those Nights, that kind of is in that vein of, like, wow, I've gone through some dark times, you know? And they describe the dark times. They don't just say they've gone through it, they explain those late nights with the TV on and going back to their very first album, you thought was about somebody in leadership at a church who was there for corrupt reasons and it was kind of calling them out, you know? I don't want them to write the same things over and over, but what I'm saying is that they could write about actual subjects and be more detailed. So yeah, and then the other things were just like a little bit of overproduction. I feel like musically it's a little bit better than Feel Invincible. That is my kind of rant. I don't want to seem too angry or anything. I don't hate this song and I don't hate Skillet, but I'm not a fan of either. And I think this song is slightly below average because of all this. So I'm gonna give it a strong four out of 10. And I really hope the album is not bad. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very weird ranty review. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.